I'm Katie Couric. Welcome to Eye to Eye. Recent toy recalls have forced retailers to play catch up ahead of the busy holiday season. Nancy Cordes spoke to the head of one high end retailer about what his company is doing to make sure the toys it sells this year are safe. This area is, um, we call it our classic toys or nostalgic toys area. We've got a lot of um, uh, they're kind of low-tech toys that maybe uh, you and I might have played with in our early days, uh, ranging from Etch-a-Sketch, remember that classic, sure. some puzzles, to these great robots, which are reminiscent of kind of early made-in-Japan robots from, uh, f from the 60s with a, with a key wind. Um, and uh, the nostalgic aspect of this, uh, we do a huge business in it. I think it's the baby boomers wanting to buy the same toys for their kids that they played with when they were younger. One of the, f one of the things I notice is that even here in the classic toys section, Every toy you pick up is made in China, even this baseball game. Yeah, yeah. The vast majority of toys today are made in China. They have the infrastructure, um, they actually have the, 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 the structure in place, both from a manufacturing perspective as well as getting it to market um, better than any other country uh, on the planet right now. It's very hard to make toys in the U.S. Uh, it's not just a question of pricing, it's more a question of access to raw materials and the, and the, the manufacturing and uh, machinery to make it happen. When when you sell thousands of different kinds of toys, how can you make sure that this drum or that baseball game doesn't have lead? Yeah, well, you, you know, fundamentally you can. You have to trust that your vendors that you're going with uh, are, um, are, are doing their job and, and, and testing their products. We're starting next year to comprehensively te make sure vendors um, test everything according to our criteria, not theirs. And we're going to set a standard that's higher than the U.S. minimum safety standards. Uh, but again, those are new products, not ones that are already um, coming into the marketplace. The, the lead is less of an issue than actual the design issue. So um, the lead sounds bad, but we had some meetings with a, with a pediatrician recently, and uh, she said it's very difficult for a child, whether handling toys, even biting it. They have to bite off a piece of lead and ingest it. Um, the much um, uh, the more troublesome issue is the bad design, the issue with magnets and things like that, where there actually have been fatalities. Uh, that is something uh, particularly troubling to me as a father and as a toy retailer. Um, our design philosophy here is one of simplicity. We don't like bells and whistles because it's more things to break and a broken toy becomes very different than what it was initially designed for as well it tends to add to manufacturing expense and might give an um, unscrupulous manufacturer the, um, the inclination to maybe cut some corners to save costs. How's the toy industry doing? I think they're very really nervous right now, um, obviously for understandable reasons. You've got not just economic um, uncertainty, but also the whole question about the recall. We're seeing a lot of um, people asking questions. We have not seen any sort of wholesale defection away from toys made in China. We've had, had a number of customers come in who said, I got rid of all my kids' toys and I want to buy toys not made from China. But that's the, the very small majority. Most people are asking questions, but still going ahead with their purchases. Is it financially feasible for a parent to get rid of all their Chinese toys and only buy toys that are made in the U.S. or Germany or somewhere else? Sure, but I don't think that's possible. I mean, I think there's uh, the vast majority of Chinese manufacturers are making good quality, safe toys. Um, so people ask me, are all toys made in China unsafe? I say no. They say, are all toys made in the U.S. safe? I say, you know what, also no. Um, I, don't, I don't think you can make that claim uh, either way. Are you worried about the holiday season financially? Um, Again, we've had pretty good results, and I think if there's uh, additional problems, there might be a flight to quality, and our focus on quality toys, that might actually help us. But we're part of the toy industry, so if the toy industry suffers, we're going to suffer. Um, any additional recalls, I think, really could be devastating to, to the toy business. Are you expecting that toy sales will drop off? this holiday? No, I don't think so. I think there might be a change in what people buy for their, for their children. Um, they might go to more apparel. You're hearing some people say they're going to buy books um, or apparel, and we do have both of those uh, books downstairs and, and apparel uh, throughout the store. Um, but again, you know, our focus on quality, um, we're not seeing any change in our business mix. Um, I'm quite surprised by that and, and pleased. And I think our product mix is such that uh, the products that we do have are uh, ones that customers want to buy and that the customers trust.